A trip to our local beaches looks much different this evening. Thousands of red crabs are scattered along the shoreline. News Channel 3's Elise Martinez joins us from Ledbetter. And Elise, you found out why those crabs are here. CJ, check them out. These red crabs are everywhere. They're scattered in the seaweed behind me as far as the eye can see. And I talked to an expert who says warmer waters may be why they're washing up on our shores. Thousands of tiny pelagic red crabs line Leadbetter Beach. These crabs are a really important food item for whales, for birds, for fish. Actually, they're sometimes even called the tuna crab because tuna love eating them so much. Gray whales migrating off our coast eat them too. Antioch professor Don Murray says red crabs are usually found farther south, near Mexico. But these likely drifted north when our waters were warmer. So these ones probably got pushed ashore in the last few days with the onshore winds. And now they're struggling to survive up on the shoreline. There's a lot over there. People at Hendry's Beach are noticing the little red creatures, and some, like Murray and her son, are trying to help them survive. They certainly stand a better chance in the water than out of the water. There you go. And we probably won't see these red crabs for much longer because the peak of El Nino is behind us. Live at Ledbetter Beach, Elise Martinez, News Channel 3.